Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans, and today I want to show you around the Sprinter 170 that we just wrapped up. Before we step inside, a few exterior features that I want to talk about. We have a Fiamma awning up top. Above that, we have some Rhino Rack roof uh, crossbars. Uh, those are going to make it so that he can put a Thule on top and have enough room for an AC unit down the line if he wants to put that in, as well as enough space for those Max Air fans to really pull air in and suck air out. Additionally, you're going to see upgraded suspension on this rig. And then on the other side, we have an aluminous ladder that I'll show you later on in the tour. As we come to the entrance to this van, we have some bug screens from RV Components. That's going to be at the sliding door and at the rear door. And then we also have a birch flip down happy hour table here. This is made as low as possible for this van so you can sit and enjoy dinner or do whatever you want to out here. Let's step inside and check out the inside. Welcome inside. Before I go through the specific components of the vehicle, I'm going to talk about some of the design features as well as the layout. So on the ground here, we have heirloom pine flooring. Moving up from that a little bit, we have birch slab door cabinetry. So that's going to be for all of our drawer banks, as well as our uppers here in our closet. And then all the way on the ceiling, we have pine tongue and groove ceiling with a clear coat finish. One of my favorite things that people do in their vans. And then our custom upholstery on the walls is going to be silver Duramax. And then we have an aspen green um, leather upholstered dinette in the rear here. In terms of layout, we have our bathroom and shower up front. We have a little closet area. Then we move into our galley dinette back here. And then our fixed bed in the rear with a garage storage area beneath it. So I'm going to start in the front and we'll work our way back. All right, starting in the front here, we have our shower. So this is going to have a retractable shower door. This shower is going to be 24 by 30. The walls are brushed aluminum. Um, there's a direct drain to the exterior here. Um, in this vehicle, we have a Rix and Hydronic heat and hot water system. So that's going to pull hot water to this shower. And then a really nice feature about this van is that we have a hidden composting toilet in here. And this is going to be from Nature's Head. So this toilet's going to be on 500 pound locking drawer slides. Pull it out like that to use it. And then when you want to use this as just a shower, you go ahead, stow it away and close it back in. Moving a little bit further back, we have a nice roomy closet here. So you have some shelving units as well as a hanging bar. Make sure things don't wrinkle while you're out on the road. Then we come back into the galley area. So here, as I mentioned, we have the birch slab door cabinetry, and then we're going to have walnut butcher block countertops. So as part of those countertops, we have a 20 inch flip up countertop extension. We have a matching butcher block insert for this Rivadi sink. This is going to be a 21 by 20 Rivadi sink. Uh, to the left of the sink, we just have a really nice drawer bank. All of this is going to be on RV latches to ensure that everything stays where it should be while they're in transit. And then we have a bifold door for this sink that houses our seven gallon fresh or gray water tank. That's going to be removable so you can just take out the dirty water as needed. Moving over to the driver's side of the galley, we have a two burner and Pava induction cooktop. And then beneath that, we have a 4.6 cubic foot door style isotherm fridge and freezer combo. So that freezer is gonna be up in the left-hand corner there. And then above that, we just have some uppers for more storage. This one's going to house our microwave. And again, this is gonna, or all of our uppers are gonna be on gas struts for easy opening and closing and have those same RV latches that you saw in the drawer bank. Moving a little bit further back, we have our dinette. So this is going to be a custom leather upholstered dinette unit with a lagoon mount table. Again, we have the birch um, table to match the rest of the cabinetry. And then this dinette also is going to convert into a bed area, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, and it's also going to provide a little bit of storage. So if you look under here on the passenger side, just have a nice roomy storage area there. Close that down and I'll show you the driver's side as I put this um, bed together. So on the driver's side of the vehicle, this is where we're going to house some of our um, 
bricks and hydronic heat and hot water system as well as the vents for that to come through. So just some space to be used there. And then we'll go ahead and turn this into the day bed. Perfect for small children, large dogs. There you have it. And then all the way in the rear of this van, we have our fixed bed. You'll notice that we have flare space on both sides just to give them a little bit more length when they're sleeping here. That flare space has half slide windows in it so you can get a nice cross breeze as well. Here we have a five inch custom mattress and then this bed platform is actually built with a nice lip. So that'll just ensure that the um, mattress stays in place, nothing gets moved around. Additionally, in this van, we have a hard partition between the garage and the living area. Um, so great way to just quickly grab bags, stinky shoes, whatever you've thrown back there. All the way in the rear there, we have some upgraded um, speakers as well. And then just a lot more upper cabinets as well as reading lights over the bed. I'm gonna finish up with power systems and ventilation in this van. So for ventilation up top, we have two max air fans. One's gonna be kind of over our bathroom area and one's gonna be all the way back here, more in this dinette living area. The really nice thing about having two of those is that you can kind of create a circular motion with the air because they can both pull air out of the van and suck air into the van. We have a nice um, flat panel window in the sliding door there. And then when it comes to our power systems, we have multiple lighting zones. So we have our under cab lights, we have over cab lights, we have our dimmable LED dome lights, um, and then we have our Bluetooth Victron energy monitor as per usual, so you can keep track of where everything's at while they're out on the road. And then as I mentioned before, we have this Rickson hydronic heat and hot water system that is going to ensure that this rig is four season capable and it's gonna bring nice hot water to both our sink and the shower um, just to stay comfortable. So let's go out to the back and check out the garage. All right, welcome to the back of the van. So in this garage area, you'll see that we have our um, heirloom pine floors continued through. We have diamond ply uh, cabinetry. So that's gonna make sure that it's really rugged and stand up to whatever gear they wanna throw back here. And then we also have our water cabinet and our electrical cabinet. So in this water cabinet, you can see we have a 40 gallon fresh water tank. Close that down. Obviously that's gonna have the water pump in it to send everything to the faucet and the shower. And then in here we have 340 amp hours of AGM super cycle battery. We have hundred watts of solar coming in through here and we have a 3000 watt inverter. A final nice touch within this van is that we just have so, um, an additional lighting area for the garage specifically so that you can load and unload at night without having to worry about not seeing what you're doing. Lastly, as I mentioned in the beginning of this tour, we have our luminous ladder on the driver's side of the van. You can also see that we have a Wii Boost up there to just enhance their connectivity while they're out on the road in their new vehicle. That wraps up this van tour. I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans. Thanks so much for following along. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.